Hey everyone, it's Tira with Rent Mason and Leaf Cutter Bees. I am in Boise, Idaho. I am super excited to be here. I've always heard about our leaf cutter bees, the huts that we have everywhere, and I am currently standing in an alfalfa crop here in Boise, Idaho. And for those of you that don't know about alfalfa, our little leaf cutter bees saved alfalfa crops. They are remarkable pollinators. Um, the smell of these flowers are so sweet. The smell out here is just amazing. And these little leaf cutter bees are the only bees that can pollinate alfalfa. These little purple flowers have a pistil on them. And when the big bees try to pollinate it, the pistil whips at them and it makes the other bees fly away. But leaf cutter bees are so teeny tiny, they can pollinate all these small little purple flowers everywhere. And I'm on this field trip to Boise, Idaho, because I am out here with Jim and his son, Kelton, and we are helping with our leaf cutter boards. We've set out huts all over Boise, Idaho. There's 120 huts out here. We put these big boards out with 2,000 holes. At one of our sites, we released 100,000 bees. Out here, we've released half of that. I think there's about 50,000 bees here. And this is what a, a leaf cutter bee hut looks like. There are thousands and thousands of bees. If you can see, they're flying in these. We just put these out. They're empty now because they were full. And so we've just provided them new nesting material. But as you can see, these little bees are super friendly. They're not bothered that I'm standing here. That's the thing with solitary bees. They don't swarm, they don't sting, they're not gonna bother you. They bump into me because I'm in the path of their little, their little nesting block, but they're remarkable pollinators. They've saved alfalfa crops. If you want leafcutter bees for your garden, they're remarkable pollinators. It's almost 100 degrees here today in Boise, Idaho. It's hot. These bees love the hot, hot weather. You can see they're super active. It's about five o'clock right now and they're super, super busy. If you live in a hot state and you want pollination in your garden, your veggie gardens, any summer blooms, these are the bees to get. I live in the Seattle area. My leaf cutter bees haven't emerged quite yet. It's the end of July and they haven't emerged yet. Um, but I give them, my leaf cutter bees usually emerge at the end of July to early August. So if your leaf cutter bees haven't emerged yet, just have a little more patience. They'll be emerging soon and then you'll see not to this extent. You'll be getting about 50 to 60 leaf cutter bees in your nesting block. But I just want to come on today and teach you a little bit more about your leaf cutters, show you this amazing site where we get um, our little leaf cutter bees, and uh, teach you guys a little bit more about these incredible pollinators. All right, happy pollinating. Bye.